Have you ever wondered how currency management automation works in practice? Well, let's find out. Welcome to CurrencyCast Explosive Edition with a focus on technology and implementation. My name is Austin McKinley. Today we have a special guest, Victor Carque, Implementation Team Manager at Cantox. Victor, welcome to CurrencyCast. Thanks for the invitation, Mike. Well, Victor brings hands-on experience to explain how API-ready treasures can implement a growth-oriented view of FX automation, allowing them to intervene at a strategic level while removing time-consuming and low-value tasks. What is the purpose of business process automation in currency management? And how does that work in practice? So at Cantox, we define automation as the use of software solutions that allow treasurers to seamlessly run the three phases of the FX workflow. So the pre-trade, the trade, and the post-trade phase. So that includes a lot of different tasks. And it's not only about the best way to execute each task separately, but having them integrated into one another as much as possible. Can you give us an example? So if the best way to proceed is to execute several trades a month, for example, and, but we decide to execute only once a month. On the one hand, we might be saving a few pips in terms of trading cost, but on the other hand, we might be losing more in terms of FX risk, a much bigger problem, right? And I see that every day in my interactions with treasurers. At the start of the process, they tend to focus mostly on saving, uh, on generating savings in trading cost. But it soon becomes clear during our conversations that it is not only about saving costs, but having the both phases, so the pre-trade and the trade phase, integrated into one another. And that becomes a priority for them. Let me ask you a delicate question. As an implementation manager, you work every day hands-on with members of the Treasury team. Do they sometimes perceive automation as a threat to their position within the company? Good question. So the truth is that once they realize the benefits of automation, they're the ones most interested in a quick implementation. All right, describe some of these benefits in more detail. So for companies, as we mentioned earlier, the key benefit is the possibility to seamlessly run the entire FX workflow, right? So all the way from the pre-trade to the post-trade phase. And that allows them to confidently embrace currencies. So for the members of the treasury teams themselves, automation means more time to devote to high value tasks, such as forecasting cash flow, uh, better uh, increased uh, productivity at work, less stress, and a better life work balance. And that's a lot. Well, of course, and one thinks also of the many operational costs and risks that are removed along the way. But surely, automation means for the treasury team that it intervenes less. Is that right? I think this is a misconception. So automation does not mean absence of intervention. It just calls for a different type of intervention, right? As the low value tasks are removed from the process, as we mentioned earlier. So there's, there is no need to waste time and resources in processing exposure data, for example, or executing a swap transaction, right? So automation for the treasury teams means they can intervene at a more strategic level, right? So they will be able to define the, the, the best uh, program for, for the business or they will be able to define the responsibilities as to who manages which part of the workflow, right? So autom automation means at the end that they intervene at a much more meaningful level. As we saw in a recent episode of CurrencyCast, application programming interfaces or APIs are used throughout the different phases of the FX workflow, pricing, hedging and reporting. Now, 2023 is almost upon us. I would assume that at this stage, uh, most treasury teams at medium to large size companies are fully API ready. Is that a fair assumption? Well, this might surprise you, but this is not necessarily the case. Uh, a lot of the treasury teams that we talk to are not yet able to integrate the Cantox solutions via API connections. Oh, that's a huge surprise. I would have thought that almost in 2023, for a treasury team to be API ready was almost as obvious as having an internet connection. Well, the good news is that we can completely adapt to the unique capabilities and requirements each customer brings along, right? 
So the fact that a treasury team is not yet able to integrate with API connections does not mean that they're not able to automate the processes somehow. Well, tell us more about this situation. Sure. So what our APIs uh, allow uh, to our, our customers more than the ability to capture the exposure data from an ERP or a TMS, a Treasury Management System, is to completely automate the whole flow, right? So we know that reporting and traceability is a very important topic to the Treasury teams, but also to the, to the accounting teams. And what our APIs allow is for the companies to completely tackle this with the, the, the exposure data and the hedge data automatically flowing back to their TMS or their ERP. That's what we call end-to-end -end automation. Now, let me ask you one more question. What is the time needed and the IT requirements involved in implementing, say, a hedging program that uses API connectivity to defend or protect the budget rate? And how does Cantox coordinate that work? Well, the beauty of our solutions is that no matter how complex the program is, the whole logic is built on our side, right? So that means that we can always focus on the, more, on the most important aspects of the implementation, which are essentially twofold. So first, we work with the IT team on the exposure data collection, and then we work with the finance team or the treasury team on the reliability of this exposure, and also on the best suited FX program for them, right? So if your goal is to protect the budget rate, then the whole implementation cycle will revolve around that. And questions like how reliable is my forecast or how flexible do I want to be or how aggressive do I want to be will be answered with you and then easily reflected in your strategy. Right? And so to come back to your first question in, in terms of uh, timings of such an implementation, so if currency management is a priority for you, then I wouldn't count much more than four weeks to fully implement uh, such a program. This is hands-on experience. You can almost feel it. Easy to implement currency management automation solutions that allow treasury teams to seamlessly run the entire FX workflow. No theory, almost live implementation. Victor Kakwe, thanks very much for sharing this episode of CurrencyCast. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Mike. Au revoir.